The signs of autumn are all around us as the leaves are changing colour, the chill of the air, the longer evenings, the falling of uh, acorns from huge oak trees as they join the dry leaves on the ground. It's an amazing time of the year and it's wonderful to trample through the leaves. The sound they make as you walk through them in the park is wonderful. And I would encourage you, if you haven't already taken a walk in the park, to do that, to enjoy this beautiful time of the year. And if you're young or young at heart, maybe run and jump into the leaves that gather. I went for a walk to try and find some acorns, um, but the squirrels have beaten me to it and uh, I only found a few and this uh, tiny one is probably not a good specimen um, but I'm always amazed at how a tiny acorn can grow into such a huge tree, a tree which is often standing for decades or even more. Uh, the tree in the picture that you've just seen is called the Major Oak and it stands in Sherwood Forest. It's between 800 to 1100 years old. That's amazing, isn't it? It's the biggest in England with its branches spreading 28 metres and its trunk a whopping 11 metres in circumference. That's incredible. And if you're interested to find out more, then Google the Major Oak, uh, Sherwood Forest. As we think of God's provision and creation today, I'm sure you have in your home some fruit and vegetables, which we might normally bring and share in our harvest display. Well, I brought some fruits from home, sadly not my garden, um, but God has designed plants and fruits to bear, se bear seeds so that they would continue to produce food and so that they may, we may continue to enjoy a harvest. If you have an apple in your fruit bowl, perhaps with an adult, if you're uh, in a family group, you would like to take it and cut it in half to look at the seeds. I'm gonna do that just now. Oh, there we go. The seeds are right embedded in here, so I'm gonna have to have a little squiggle to get it out. There we go. There is my apple, and I don't know if you can just glimpse the size of the seed there. A tiny seed or, or pip, as um, we often call it. Nice juicy apple too. But just as the acorn, acorn will grow into uh, an oak tree, this tiny apple seed in the right conditions will grow into a fruit tree. Obviously not a pear tree but an apple tree because that's its kind. A seed placed in good soil, watered and tended, can grow into a beautiful tree bearing much fruit. Isn't God's creation amazing? And as Christians we have the presence of the Holy Spirit living in us, planted if you like, in our lives. And as we take care to develop our relationship with God, we will see the fruit of the Spirit developing in our lives, growing in us from within. Obviously, not the fruit that we eat, but characteristics that reflect Jesus. The verse earlier that was shared from Galatians reminds us that when the Holy Spirit lives in our lives, when he has control of our lives, then we will produce fruit, good fruit. We'll show the imprint of God in our lives. And we will show his love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Perhaps more importantly, other people will see Jesus reflected in our lives, in our behavior, as well as our words. As we show others in our class, in our home, in our social circle, in our community, compassion and kindness and patience, then we plant seeds into their lives. Seeds which may take root 
as they want to discover what it is that makes us tick, why we're kind, why we're generous, why we're gracious and caring. Jesus commands us to go, to go tell the good news which we do both in word and action. It's then that we will see a harvest of people, a harvest for the kingdom, a harvest of souls. If you've got a pip from your apple, then I would invite you to place that pip in your hand and think about its potential. And then consider these questions. If you're with uh, your family, then maybe talk about this together. How can I help my relationship with Jesus deepen? What things do I need to allow the Holy Spirit more control in my day-to-day -day life? Read the full chapter from Galatians and ask God to reveal those things in you which, by his help, you need to change. How can I share God's love in school, at work, in my community? And maybe some things that you could place into action in these next few weeks. Perhaps you might be able to bake a cake and give it to a neighbour. Neighbor. Of course, COVID safe. Could you send a card of encouragement to someone who faces these days alone or a student returning to university or a young family? Could you make up a fruit bowl for harvest and share it with someone? I invite you, before you rush on, to reflect on these things and to consider what God is saying to you. Allow him to speak to you today so that the seeds of goodness that we share in our lives might grow into a tree, a harvest for the kingdom. Thank you for joining me today and I wish you a blessed Sunday.